the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! A warm welcome to you all Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape Hi, and welcome to episode 4 of this Queen's Park Rangers We Rise. Uh, we are now in the month of December. We have a packed episode ahead of us. I'm playing the month of December, all these games. And we are playing the month of January too. So we will play through the transfer window. We will shut the transfer window down. But I will meet you guys back here. On the 29th of January when we play Reading. That's going to probably be an interesting game. Uh, I'll have a recap of all the, re the rest of this one. And I think there will be a FA Cup clash somewhere. They usually push that one in. in uh, I think it's in January. The FA one. Or if, is it in December? It doesn't matter. You will see it. It's not here yet. But it will be. So we will play five games in the month of December and then we will be back for the last one and play at least three games before that. Probably an FA Cup game as well. It's gonna fit in somewhere there and it's just gonna be probably amazing. We have to push in the FA Cup, I guess, um, if we don't want to lose manager rating because we don't want to get fired. Let's have a look at the league table. As we can see here, we are currently sitting fourth. We have 41 points. We are two points behind both Sheffield United and Preston, and that is amazing. We need to, as we have been <laughs> talking about that before, first and second are automatically promoted, third to sixth will play a playoff about the third and final spot to the Premier League. So we have, as if we finish fourth, we will have a chance. We will play uh, Fulham in this case. Uh, in the first playoff round, if we get through that, we will play the winner between Preston and uh, Bournemouth, and uh, the winner in that game will, will get prom you know promoted to, to Premier League. Uh, we are only 20 games into the season. We, it doesn't matter what teams that are in the spots right now, but after 46 rounds, that will be you know it will matter. And if we play, I think we had what nine games in the league. So that will make us almost at 30 league games. So that will be okay. So that's why I think we should be pushing through. We will play two months at a time. Because then by the end of, well maybe episode 6, we will actually be finishing the, the championship season. And we will know if the, the series ends there. If it does, it means we haven't reached. Uh, the, the first six positions and if we're knocked out in the playoffs if we reach third to sixth the you know the series ends there too and we didn't rise but i hope we rise and i hope we get to you know promoted to the premier league we don't have much time but we are gonna go through this episode right now i'll meet you guys back on the 29th of january for the game against reading but until then, you enjoy the recap, you lean back, get yourself a nice beverage, why not a coffee, if that's what you like, it doesn't matter. Just lean back, enjoy, and I'll see you soon.
Hold yeah, we want retribution. Oh yeah, we want retribution. Descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious. You think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious because you are behind a fake exterior. Inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me. This ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words. You can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last and to believe in what you got. It was built to last. Yeah.
taking shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic roof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take a new song. And you cannot save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing, all here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me, I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half guns. You are not as tough as <laughs> From the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tell you. A pot or I could go heal them. Don't believe in fate, don't believe in ceilings. I just need a taste, and my mind starts peeling. I don't pace myself, I grind on no kneeling. Got lust for change, I just love the feeling. No. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. And I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything we're doing is a tough Cause time. I'ma live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by at night I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time And I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by at night I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go a lot 
that I sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see what the negativity but I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Hi and welcome back. After that recap, I hope you have enjoyed it and wow, did things happen. That was a tough injury on Vincent, seven months. He was the he was the golden child, so to say, of, of, of the Queen's Park Rangers youth generation. He was the best. He had played every game. And he tore his ACL and he's gone for the remaining time of this season at least. And uh, I think he would be back in like maybe late July. So if we manage to go to the Premier League, we will see him then. But for the remaining of this season, he will be out. Which is just, that sucks because he was so promising. But I was surprised that uh, you will Lasoto, our striker, the young uh, Swedish uh, striker, he actually... He played really well on the left wing spot, so he will continue there. Um, he is not close as good as uh, Vincent, but he's amazing still. And another thing, uh, I, as you saw, we lost both uh, the attacking midfielder Jair. He went to PSV Eindhoven, and then I, 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 I kind of knew we were going to get a bid on on Lyndon Dykes and we did and we accepted it and he has now left the club I don't really know why I accepted that bid I just figured that he had scored 23 goals in just um, 20 something games he would be hunted for real and I figured I wanted to sell him to a, a, a championship team since they came in first before the Premier League teams came he didn't have the Premier League quality so to say he wasn't that high um, in overall but I don't want to if we manage to get into the Premier League I don't want to play him you know against him so that's why I thought it would be a, a good a good thing to, to sell him to a, a, a champions, championship team that's not going to be involved in the promotion battle but I didn't want to sell him a sh I kind of regret it um, I just figured it would be more realistic but the fact that I sold him to a, a, a championship team kind of take took away that realis realism how do you burn that word that 
well, it wasn't realistic anymore. And so yeah, that I I, I regret that. That was a mistake for me to sell him um, to to uh, to stock. Uh, he should have gotten a broad or Premier League. That that would have made sense. And but the thing is, we I figured no one wanted to buy Austin. Charlie Austin, so I figured I'll go with him as a striker, and we have Amu, who has played really well, and we brought in uh, Jack Lana, or Jack Lane, uh, he, he's also a Swedish striker, 20 year old Swedish striker, he came from the French league, and that's, I just figured, you know, when it comes to attackers, we do have attackers, even though Lindern Dykes, <sighs> yeah. I'm going to regret that for the rest of this series and, and that's also a good thing for me because that's going to remind me not to sell the best player of the team. That just It just took away a lot from, from me. I don't know, I mean, you probably don't care, but for me it just took away a lot to sell Lino Dax. That, that, was, that was a low blow on myself and I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, we are now going to have the... The this well this episode's main event we're playing Reading at home, and we are gonna close the transfer window after that and just you know we're gonna be end the, the month of January. So let's head to the game. Let's play it with the new guys, without Khair and without Lyndon Dykes and without injured Vincent. Yeah, it sucks, but let's hope we get... We'll, we'll check the league table before the game and we'll check it after just so you can see. So let's head to the league table. So this is how the league table looks. We are currently sitting fourth, 55 points, um, 11 points ahead of, of the, the drop from sixth to seventh. And actually just three points behind both Preston and West Brom. So... We're doing well. I can't say anything else. We're doing well. We have played 28 games. We will play our 29th now when we play Reading. And, you know, it's looking good. This is the team that we're going to take on Reading with. And you can see that Field is playing instead of Dassel as a central attacking midfielder. You know, why not? We have... A few interesting academy players that I might bring up but for now this is what's up and we do have uh, Jack Lane on the bench so without further ado let's head into the Key and Price Foundation aka Loftus Road let's see if we can actually take three points against Reading buckle up <laughs> let's go Boys, so they have the kickoff and the game is on. I really want to win this one. There's a rivalry between Reading and, and Queen's Park. Um, if you're not familiar with that, um, they always say that Reading has the fake striped jerseys because they also have a horizontal blue and white striped jerseys as the home kit, as the Queen's Park Rangers. But I've always heard that Reading are the fake ones and I'm not really sure I, I guess it's it could mean that Queen's Park Rangers are an uh, older club than Reading and that's why I actually don't really know the story behind it I probably should but I don't well they try them out with a shot we're gonna go I feel drop the ball too bad we are So here they come, they are building up, that usually means they will not touch the ball until they finished attacking. Use, usually that means they will score. When they start to do this, just pass it around. I usually don't even... <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was a loud one. Sounded like they blew something up. Oh, we made the big save. We're getting some pressure. Now. 
Yeah, they are putting us under pressure. We managed to find a sword in the deep. And coming with the cross, we have players there. And we cut it back. And we. Oh, we can't. Find the back of the net with a beautiful shot from Charlie Austin. Thank you. So let's hope we can actually continue play really well. We are 31 minutes in and we are kind of under pressure. Um, Reading are playing. Saddled, <laughs> it saddens me to say that they are playing a lot better than us. Get there, come on, get there. Beautiful, make them turn back. Okay, that's really not what you should have done, field, but yeah, all right, I'll take it. Let's see if there's any more. Can we get rid of this? Sort of going deep. He's first. Can you take the shot far post? No, it's not. Oh, that's too bad. It's half a second more and he would have got the shot too. But yeah, he didn't have the speed, I guess. Oh, well, that's a nasty tackle on the field. He lost the ball. He had the advantage and, and he just lost it, passed it away. That sucks. We kick off the second half, we have a goal up, so let's continue that one. Oh, come on. That, you are, well, you are, I'm so, I, I was about to say that you are so slow to sort of, but he's only slow because I didn't do what I should have, you know? So I can't really blame him. I, yeah, well, I can, but it's, it's wrong. Field turns around. Oh, he has some space. Oh, it takes a shot. So we are making changes. We are actually giving the debut to Price, Central Tech midfield from the academy. I brought him up in January when we sold Jair. I didn't buy a new player for a new Central Tech midfield. I, I picked one up from the academy, and I think it was a good move. Um, well, we'll see if, if it was. We have Dussel, we have Amor, we have Field, and we have Price. So we have four players that can actually fight for those two spots, and I, I think that should be enough. You know, unless we hit tons of injuries. If so, we'll bring up more players from the academy. It will work out, you know? I'm not worried. It will be hard to replace Jair, though. He was really good. Wait, he is really good. Oh, he took... Close. As good yet. To play in the championship, in my opinion. I mean, in real life, he's a really interesting striker. But in this game, he's, they haven't really made him as fast as I think he is. We find Dossel, we cut it back to Dossel, who just, he makes no mistake, you know, it's a lot of thunder outside, but he makes no mistake, I, I hope you can hear me, you know, I hope the mic picks up my stuff and not just the, the lightning blasts. And for you who wonder, should I record and have all this equipment on during a, a thunderstorm? No, I probably shouldn't. So you're probably right. I hope I won't regret it. But we're two goals up, so it's good. Oh, we have some space and we have a shot and we have a third goal. 
Udubayo with a nice move. The right back is up there, challenging everything and anything and scores. Nice. So we are three goals up. It's looking good. We're in the 86th minute and we're just trying to finish this one off in style without getting any of red cards or anything else. That's the, that's the goal. Um, a clean sheet would be beautiful. You know? We won't, we won't be upset if we get a clean sheet in this game. But we're in the 89th. Time is running out for Reading. We still have a three goal lead. We will take three points. That's for sure. But will we keep a clean sheet? That's that's I guess that's the real question. And we have a save and we have a corner. We have two more minutes to play. Let's see if we can clear this one. Can we get rid of the ball? Just clear it. Oh he's Oh, that's a nice one, and it's a goal. We couldn't. It's too bad. It's overtime of the overtime when they score. It's a 3-1 game, and it will end a 3-1 game, because the referee will blow the whistle when we kick off. But it's a nice shot. That's a beautiful goal. Yeah, we have to give him that. That's a beautiful goal. Look at that. Bam. Nice shot. Nice balance, beautiful. All right, ref, blow the whistle. We get three points in the main event. We have 3-1 against Reading at home. And that is good. That is really good. We needed a win. And we will close the episode with a win, and that's always nice. And we will also Actually, we have gotten kind of far into the, the championship. Um, there will be like two, two more episodes, I think, and then the, the, the championship should be over. Something around there. So we're going to close the transfer window. We have received a bid on Dunn, our central back. We have, we have two from the academy and we have, well, we have Dickie and the captain. So yeah i guess we could sell because we want to raise some money so we have something to, to spend when we, if we get to the premier league so i'm, I'm saving the money I'm, I'm getting for the the premier league so let's let's check this out so we are about to close the transfer window now we have the dying hour left and uh, it's closed so the January window is closed and this is what happened. We sold Kakai to Reading and we sold the vase to Nantes. We did sell Owens to Sepsi. Jekyllan was bought from Amiens to us. We sold Jair to PSV Eindhoven. We sold Lyndon Dykes to Stoke City. I, s I regret this. This one is the only one I really regret, but it, you know what's happened happened you can't really change that uh, Masterson went to Heracles and Don went to Willem Zwei we ended the transfer window with uh, selling Alpha to Shangshun Yatai he haven't played many minutes uh, but we have lost a, a lot of players in the transfer window so we end the episode right here we are second in the league it's a really tight one. Look at look at spot second to fourth. You know? Same point. But we are right now, we're sitting second. We are behind Sheffield United. We're five points behind. We have Preston and West Brom or West Bromwich. Um on 58 points, just as us. We got Fulham chasing us. 55 points. Then there's a little jump down to Bournemouth, and there's a a tinier leap down to Blackburn Rovers so it's looking good right now we have played 29 out of 46 games so yeah there's 17 games to play 
We are chasing promotion and right now we are sitting on the automatic promotion to the Premier League. Um, but there's a, a 17 games to play, so a lot can happen. But we, if we continue to play as we have and get a couple of wins here and there, we will probably be in the top six, meaning we will get a playoff at least. Is it realistic to think that we could fight for a first or second spot? Not, not really. Not, uh, not, for, not for my mistake selling uh, Lyndon Dykes and Jair. That was, yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, injured Vincent, also a big blow for us, even though Asoro is doing well. Um, I don't know. I guess what will actually make it or break it is injuries. Can we remain, you know, saved from injuries and getting injuries on the, the, the right players? Um, then we, we have a chance. If we get injuries on the wrong players, we're gone. It's not going to happen. So, cross your fingers. Let's hope that we actually can make it. But thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I do hope you smash that like button. That helps me a lot getting higher up in the algorithm. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. That means a lot. And uh, when you subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscription button. If you tick it and tick it on all, you will be notified every time I drop new content, which is beautiful. Now, take good care of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy, and be kind to each other. And I will see you in the next episode. Till then, one love. Walk it.